So let's kick in our tutorial by activating the rectangular command. Click anywhere to start to draw and type on your keyboard 9, comma, 6, enter to have a space which is 9 by 6 unit. Then instead of using commands here in the ribbon, we will use AutoCAD shortcuts for this tutorial that's much faster and more efficient. We will use the polyline command PL for polyline, enter. Choose this point and start to draw. And as you see, I can draw in any angle. I want to avoid that and only draw in straight vertical or horizontal line. For that purpose, enable ortho mode by clicking on its icon here below or press F8 to activate or deactivate it. And as you see, I'm restricted only to draw in 90 degrees horizontal or vertical lines. To continue, press 3, enter, 5, enter, 10, enter. 5, enter and close the space. Now we have the outer walls almost ready. For the interiors, as we had the a bathroom, kitchen, living room, and two separate bedrooms here, we will use the command X line to start to draw them. XL for X line, which draws an infinitive vertical or horizontal line. We will use them as reference. So we have one vertical. Spacebar to reactivate the previous command, which is X line instead of retyping it. And now let's draw one horizontal. Select these two lines and we want to change their color to distinguish them from our main boundary wall. So, offset 2.8, enter for the bathroom space. Escape, spacebar to reactivate the previous command. One for the one unit enter for the kitchen cabinet, and one because I have a door here. Then we would like to offset 1.2 enter for my entrance to the two bedrooms here. Then for my ba windows for the spaces, I will copy this construct line by using CO for copy. Enter, copy it to the midpoint of this space. And as you see, it tells me midpoint and indicates it with a green triangle. If you don't see it in your drawing, please go all the way down and click on this cursor here for the snap cursor, object snap, click on the cursor. And make sure you have all of the snaps activated. Probably you don't need all of them, but it doesn't harm to have them. So, select the X line again, CO for copy, copy it and choose the midpoint. As I will offset these two lines to create windows. Then L for line from here till here. And then again, select the X line, CO for copy and find the midpoint. I drew this line only to find the midpoint between these two lines. So no more needed, select it, E for erase. Enter. Now I also need one line here for the window of the bathroom. CO for copy and find the midpoint. Perfect. Now L, enter to draw the wall for the bathroom. From here, 4, enter till here. And we have here one wall separated between the two bedrooms so i go from here sorry till here find the center point and draw it as well so now offset 0 0.2 to give our drawing make it more clear and start to draw our walls Here again, spacebar to reactivate the previous command. One zero point one. One up, one down. Then escape to exit. These two lines no more needed. Now we have our main walls for the windows offset. One enter. One to the right. One to the left. One to the right, and one to the left one up and one down 
no more needed. This one as well, and this one as well. E for erase, enter. Now select the whole drawing, TR for the trim command. Let's trim out the location for our doors. Good. The location for our windows. And we will continue so to cut out the areas to have them for our windows as well. And for our bathroom window as well. So, right now we are almost done with cutting out and giving our floor plan shape. The X line commands are no more needed. We select all of them. And on our keyboard, we type E for erase. Enter. Still does not look very pleasant, but we will get there soon. We will start by drawing our windows REC for rectangle. Then we change the color to light blue for our windows from this point to this point. L enter, find the midpoint indicated by the green triangle. And so we are done with our first window. Select it CO for copy and copy it to the other locations where we drew all the windows to be 2 meters in the same size. Then, copy, disable ortho mode, bring it close, select it, RO for rotate, enter, press shift to be only able to do rotate only in 90 degrees or in other words, Enable ortho mode temporary, press and hold shift. Very good. Okay, now we are done with our windows. For our doors, we have here, we need to select all, TR for trim, and trim out these intersections here. And afterwards, we will close the gaps which we have created. This here as well, TR, enter for trim, to create a nice and smooth floor plan. Let's close the gaps created. We forgot this one, then L, enter, change the color back to black, and let's close these ones here. Good. Now, let's bring in our furniture and our doors. I have already loaded my furniture into the drawing. If you are interested in having them, please let me know in the comment section or I will leave a drink, a link to my Patreon account and drop it there. So, select the door, CO for copy and copy it to the desired location. We have here two lines. I could either change by selecting them, their color and changing it to black, or I will show you another command. MA for match properties. Enter, select source object. I want this to be my source, and then select destination object. One, two, and as you see, it matches the properties to each other. Okay, then we have here, we will start with the bathroom furniture, or let's start with the bedroom. M for move, enter. Find the midpoint and find the midpoint of the space as well. Now select it, MI for mirror, click and rotate. Erase source object, yes. Now for this one, M enter. Find the midpoint and move it to the desired location. For our bathroom furniture, select, move, M enter, bring it close, select it, R or RO for rotate, press shift to be able to rotate only 90 degrees. And move it to the desired location. 
for our dining table, select M, move it. For our outdoor dining table, M, and move it to the desired location. Our two kitchen furniture, move M, enter to move, R, O, for rotate. Good. Select them, M for move, and move them to the desired location. Now, kitchen is all kitchen cabinets have a width of 60 units. So, offset 0 0.6 for 0 0.6 meters or 60 centimeters. Then, let's move this as well. Okay, we are almost done with our kitchen furniture. We have here two doors. We select our door, CO for copy. We choose this point. M, enter for move. And now select it, MI for mirror. Find the midpoint and mirror it to the other side and hold shift to make a perfect mirror. A resource object, no this time because I want to keep my source door. REC for rectangle. Sorry. We create a reference. Make sure it's perpendicular. As we have in the snaps, perpendicular activated. Then select it and drag this point and make sure you see this perpendicular sign to have the wall straight. MI for mirror and let's mirror it to the other side. Resource object, no. Select all and TR for trim. Click and drag over the line which we want to trim out. So this line is extra. EX for extent, EX for extent, enter. And select this area, TR for trim, to trim out this line as well. So we are done with our floor plan layout. We drew doors, windows, and added our furniture. We forgot here one door for the bathroom and the bath tube. We will add that as well. Before that, let's do hatch. H A and hatch our walls black. If you missed what I did, H A for hatch, enter, and let's hatch our interior walls by clicking inside the walls. I don't like this type of hatch, so I change it to solid black. Escape to exit the command. Select this hatch as well, and the hatch window pops up. And we can change it to any pattern or solid we want. We could also change the color of it to any color we would like to have. I want to stick with the black color. So, then REC for rectangle. Then hatch, HA, enter, click. For this era, I would like to use a different hatch. Go all the way down and use these lines to create wood planks. The scale is too big and here change the scale to 0.2. Much better. We could also change its color to something else. I want to change it to dark gray. If you want to change the angle of it, here type the desired angle. Enter. So, what remains is dimension and space names. For space names, T, E, X, T for text, enter. Then specify star point, specify height, rotation angle, zero, enter. And then we type bedroom, enter. I find it a bit too big. Choose it, select it, SC for scale. Choose a point and drag to the desired scale or I want to scale it by 0 0.75 to make it smaller. 
CO for copy. Then here, living room. Let's type here bath CO for copy kitchen CO for copy let's type here dining CO for copy and let's type here outdoor dining enter Select it, M for move, place it nicely. And now all we have to do is put dimensions. Before that, I want to finish to draw my two doors. One here for the bathroom. With, by using rectangle, delete the main one. I have added a slide door here. And here REC for rectangle. To draw my two closets for the bedrooms L for line from here till here and then offset 0 0.6 enter and offset it to draw our bedroom closets select all of them MI for mirror choose the, this midpoint and mirror it to the other side and also hold shift resource object no yeah the only thing remaining for our floor plan are dimensions dmi and choose deem align it so i want to take a dimension from this point to this point and drag out then instead of again typing deem align it i to choose after taking the first dimension type the command dco this is a professional command but I still want to share it with you. It allows you to continuously put dimensions. Hit enter. Now, only thing we have to do is only to click and move our mouse. Then, for this side here, theme, align it from this point to this point. And instead of repeating the same process, DCO for theme continue. And the only thing we have to do is to click. And as you see, it takes all of the dimension. So the last thing I want to share with you is before that, let me change all my dimensions color to dark gray. Or let's leave it as it is. It looks nice. Let's type DIMS for DIM style. Choose it. Select modify. Go to primary units. And let's change precision to two units only and hit OK. Set current and close. And as you see, it rounds off our dimension. So let me hatch this area here as well. HA for hatch. Before that, let me draw my bath cube. We can simply draw. Here a shower randomly. Yep. Let me move this to the center. Find the midpoint and choose the midpoint from here as well. Our bath tube. Let's choose a circle for the water flow. Yeah, then HA for hatch. I want to separate my Bathroom with the simple hatch, choose a tile, yep. The scale is too small, let me change it to two. Good. Much better. And that was it for our floor plan tutorial in less than 20 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and let me know what you think about the tutorial. Like and subscribe, do not forget to don't miss our upcoming tutorials thanks for watching and see you soon goodbye